try to make you do things you weren't supposed to do. What was I thinking? I must have forgot everything that my mommy taught me. Can you ever forgive me? We forgive you. Oh, thanks. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Well, you could sing one of our songs. Well, how's it go? You know, I was hoping you'd ask. It's why she tells me what I need to know. I got a lot of respect for that woman. But sometimes when I'm playing with a buddy or two, they're doing things that I'm not supposed to do. Do you go along? Even though the things they do are wrong. Mm -hmm. I remember saying, Stand up, stand up. For what you believe in, believe in, believe in God. She's the one to back you up. What you learned in church and Sunday school Just check it out mm -hmm. The Bible tells us what it's all about Oh, you know that's right So if you have a question, go ask your dad And he can tell you if the thing is good or bad You'll make their day Uh-huh If you remember what your parents say What they say They told us Stand up, stand up For what you believe The one to back you up. We'll stand with you. Oh, stand, stand up, stand up. For what you believe in, believe in, believe in God. He's the one to back you up. We'll stand with you. He'll stand with you. Oh, you're back! Well, I still haven't been able to get Larry out of the sink. I want to get out, Bob. But it's time now to talk about what we've learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today, and God has a lot to say in his book. Larry, you know how I feel about that song. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone, and now that our song is done, we'll take a... Hey! That's cool! As I was saying, it's time to talk about what we've learned today. Right, Larry? I'm wet. Right. Well, Rack Shack and Benny learned that standing up for what they believed in was pretty hard, but it was worth it. When all their friends were doing things that were wrong, Rack Shack and Benny remembered what their parents had taught them and that God wanted them to do what was right. In the end, God was protecting them, even in the fiery furnace. What did you learn, Larry? Well... I learned that doing something that you know isn't such a good idea, just to be cool, isn't very cool. I put an oven mitt on my head just because Veggie Beat Magazine said it would make me cool, even though I couldn't see anything. It didn't make me cool. It made me, it made me bump into a toaster and then fall into the sink. And now I can't get out of here. I'm going to be stuck here forever. And people are going to set plates on my head and I'm never going to get to go to the circus or run through the fresh cut grass or feel the ocean breathe in my hair as I pilot my nibble schooner Felix off the coast of our family home at Kitty Bunkport. Oh, at the end, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Click, click, click. Are you finished? Yeah. Okay, Larry, do you see that spoon over there? Uh-huh. If you stand on that end of it, and I jump onto the other end, it'll fling you out of there, okay? Okay. This'll just take a second. I'm ready. Okay, here I come. Oh, that's much better. Thank you, Bob. Bob? Bob! I'm in here, Larry. Oh, there you are. Hey, let's see if Cordy has a verse for us. Stand firm and hold to the teachings we passed on to you. Second, 
Cephalufians, Thessalians, Cephalupians, uh, Bob? Thessalonians. Thanks. Can I get out now? Not yet. Second Thessalonians 2.15. That means, remember what your parents teach you and what you've learned from the Bible. If someone wants you to do something that you know is wrong, stand firm and do what's right. In our story, Rack, Jack, and Benny stood firm when all their friends were doing things they knew were wrong. So, Dexter, the next time you go to Billy's house, maybe you could bring one of your favorite videos to watch instead. He might think it's pretty cool. It isn't always easy, but knowing you've done the right thing sure feels good inside. Right, Bob? Yep, that's right, Larry. I'd like to get out now. Well, that's all the time we have today. Remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Goodbye! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There lived a man so long ago His memories but faint Was not admired Did not inspire Like president or saint But people came from far and near With their afflicted pets For a special cure They knew for sure Would it come from other pets Whoa! This is a song For your poor sick penguin He's got a fever He's gone a little loopy, in case you haven't heard. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Mm. No skeptic could explain just how, nor could one off three, but the wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! This is a song for your pregnant kitty She's looking nauseous and a week past two Jump in your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When the nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said... No way, Jose! To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps! Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Main going after you. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. Yeah.
while some just scratch their scalps. For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Got a bee, 